Hola mi gente, feliz Latinegra is her story month. Let me take you back to 2018, when Erica Badu was given the Lifetime Achievement Award on the Soul Train Awards. Get on your feet and help me welcome the 2018 Soul Train Legend Award. When she went up to receive her award, she was wearing a mouthpiece. Now some people looked at that and said, Erica Badu is a little bit different and eccentric and, and maybe creative too. But I think that this mouthpiece was so much more than just her natural creativity. To me, it looked like a nod to Escrava Anastasia. Escrava Anastasia is known in Brazil as a symbol that is used religiously, but then also culturally, and Escrava Anastasia represented freedom. She was like the Harriet Tubman of Brazil. So to tell you a little bit about Escrava Anastasia, she was a house slave. I don't like the word slave. A few moments later. But in this instance, I have to use it. Escrava Anastasia was a house slave. And she was also an advocate for her people. So while they thought she was in the house just doing the chores and stuff like that, nah, that's not what she was doing. She was listening and she was carrying the messages to her people so they would know everything that was going on. Well, when they got word of this and figured out what was happening, <laughs> they not only kicked her out and put her on the outside, but they also put a muzzle on her mouth. Now this was not just a simple piece of metal or iron, something like that. If you think about it, if you're working out in the hot sun and it could burn the skin off of your mouth, Brazil was known for its inhumane practices and treatment of the enslaved. So in spite of all of that, Anastasia was still a soldier for her people. So even when she was out in the field, she whispered through the muzzle to liberate her people. And that is what I think the tie-in is. I believe that Erica Badu is a conscious sister. I don't think she just does things randomly. So I think she knows very well who Escrava Anastasia is. And beyond the artistic quality, as I said before, I feel like she was making a statement, but it's one of these invisible statements that you have to know. You have to know history. You have to know about diaspora to understand the full context. Look at the things that are going on in this world today. How many of us are willing to speak through our mouthpieces to liberate our people? Liberate!